Welcome to my channel, Loop Word. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It's going to be for a connection between you and someone you're dealing with. And I went ahead and pulled an oracle card for an overall energy of what spirit could be trying to tell you, like the message you need to hear for this reading. Clarified it with a tarot card. And you got the number nine, Assessing. And so I just got this card, which is kind of weird last week for Aquarius reading. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or could just be the energy in somebody's chart, I'm not sure. But clarifying the assessing card is the King of Cups. So if we're talking about you, this can be you becoming emotionally stable, like becoming healthy within your emotions. Having an open heart chakra, being open to love, but being also responsible with your cup. You know, if someone shits on you, you're going to realize that you gave them the cup and you're going to wonder what you did to make this, to, to think that it was okay to give this person the cup. You're not in the energy of wanting to blame anyone else for your emotional stability. This almost feels like that nine of cups energy, kind of assessing your own self and your own emotional well-being and becoming stable within yourself, whether you're woman or man, doesn't matter. But with this assessing card, this is the energy of someone watching you. And this person looks kind of like a young energy, but they're checking something out. So this is like the page of swords on steroids. And with this purple being on here, like that's the color of intuition, so your intuition could be telling you that this person is watching you and the reason why they could be watching you is because from their perspective they have a lot of emotion a lot of love for you in some way so we're going to pull a nine card block see what's going on between you and the person you're dealing with we're going to get three cards for the past energy three for the current timeline and then three for the upcoming timeline it's just a default timeline of the energies in the moment Good Lord have mercy. Well, that flipped, so we're keeping that one for one of the past. But these, as far as the upcoming energy, you can always change those outcomes because you have free will. I'm going to read the left side of this spread as the person you're dealing with, and the right side is you. But if the storyline matches better by swapping those people around, then you can do that. So for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, we're going to get three cards. Well, we need two more for the past. So we need eight more cards total. So for the past, you get the seven of cups, the fool, the devil. Aries is in devil energy in the past. Or it could be like Capricorn energy in your chart. We'll see. In the current energy, the hangman, the five of wands, six of cups, upcoming energy, ten of cups, Strength card, Four of Cups. Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, I don't feel lying with that Seven of Swords. I feel this is as this person is watching you, checking you out from a distance somehow. They're not telling you with the Seven of Swords being there. They're, they're keeping that to themselves. So for the past energy, the person you're dealing with has the Seven of Cups you have the devil card and the fool is between the two of you. So if this is you on the right side, you may have felt like you had a pure obsession for this person. Could have been like you thought about this person day and night, just night and day all the time. They're in the seven of cups energy. They could have had other options besides you. So that could be what was causing the connection to not be successful and and or they could have been confused in, in like a confused state of mind you know what i'm saying but the full energy is between the two of you this is like starting a taking a leap of faith in a with a new beginning so if both people wanted to take a leap of faith in this it could have been for the reason you felt very upset you thought about this person all the time and you wanted a new beginning with this person but with them being in the seven of cups they had other options besides you or you felt that they did and so that kept you from taking the leap towards them but i feel like with this energy is the full card is pointed towards this person with the seven of cups so it's like you wanted something with this person 
I don't know if you want to admit that or not. I could be wrong. This could not be your reading. But the, the reading I'm reading for, this you wanted something with this person in the past. Why? Because you felt like you were purely obsessed with this person. You had probably like an unhealthy thinking pattern when it came to this person. You thought about this person all the time. Couldn't get this person off your mind. But this person was in the energy of keeping their options open. Okay? In the current energy, the person you're dealing with is in the hangman. You're in the Six of Cups. The Five of Wands is between the two of you. So you and this person, I'm not going to keep that because I'm not clarifying a certain thing right now. But you and this person, whenever you and this person come into contact, it becomes petty, childish energy with the Five of Wands being there. All the people on the Five of Wands card, they look like they're like 12 years old tops. So that's the kind of energy that's between you and this person in the current timeline. This person is in hangman mode. They're not moving. They feel a lot of passion for this connection with the red on their legs. Their heads lit up about having a new perspective about this connection. They may decide that they want just this as the option because their upcoming energy is the Ten of Cups. That's the end all be all family card. But with everything that went on in the past with this person, you could be feeling like you don't want to have the possibility of becoming someone's option. Okay? So. Like I said, you were in the devil energy in the past, but you're working through that, becoming emotionally stable within yourself with the King of Cups. They're watching you hard. So, when you decided you didn't want to be an option, even though you were obsessed with this person, it's like you fought that off and worked on your emotional stability. Now, you got this Six of Cups energy towards this connection. Maybe you could be currently trying to work on giving this connection a positive meaning to your life. If you're not doing that, that's what Spirit is trying to tell you. That even if this person made you feel like they did you wrong by treating you as an option, look at this in the positive aspect with the Six of Cups being there. Give this a positive meaning because look at what it has done for your emotional well-being, your emotional stability. You're coming into King of Cups energy as far as your heart chakra is involved. So whether you and this person decide to get together or not, this experience taught you or, or pushed you in the direction of working on your inside self and your emotional stability. And so you're becoming emotionally stable. This could result in you becoming connected with someone else in the future and it becoming successful all because of the experience with this person. Or it could be that you and this person evolve and come together. Either way, this connection might have had a lot of toxicity in the past, but Spirit is saying you should look at it with a positive outlook with the Six of Cups being there. Although even now there's a lot of petty energy between you and this person, a lot of childish energy. This person could be wanting you to compete for them with the Five of Wands being there. With their options open in the past, they could feel like they're special and they want to be they want someone who competes for their attention. That's just the way they, they've always been. They don't know any other way. And so Spirit is saying, but look at this in a positive way because how you've evolved just from having the experience of this connection. The universe could have sent this connection in your life for that to happen. But this person is watching you. Because you decided not to be their op one of their options, one of their many options. You decided not to compete for their attention. Maybe you did in the past, but in the current energy, it doesn't look like that to me. It looks like you feel like you do not want to be an option. You want to be the only one or not at all. So that's triggered them to be interested. They're assessing. They're checking you out from a distance. And your intuition is probably telling you that they're doing that. You probably know. If you don't know, this reading came to you to let you know. In the upcoming energy, this person's in the Ten of Cups. You're in the Four of Cups, and the Strength card is between you. So based on this default timeline, no communication between the two of you in the upcoming energy. Why? Because you have a lot of dissatisfaction regarding this connection. You do not feel like this is something for you because why? You were an option in the past. But this person is looking at you like they're Ten of Cups. They want the Ten of Cups with you. But the problem is that they're not telling you. Why the hell do people do that? They want that with you, but they're not telling you. They may feel like you won't take them up on it. Because you are in the Four of Cups. They're right. They know what kind of energy you're in regarding them. You've probably told them before because you're an Aries. Aries usually don't hold back the way they feel unless they're doing it intentionally for a reason. Just like right here with this person. You're holding back intentionally with the strength card. 
but so are they. So y'all are like mirroring each other in that aspect. All right, so for the past energy, the Fool card is also your card. I'm just noticing that. That's the energy between the two of you. I'm going to clarify this person's Seven of Cups in the past. Get three cards for Aries reading. Seven of Cups. The Six of Swords. Four of Wands. Knight of Wands. Yes. So this person in the past was in that flighty energy. The Seven of Cups is because they had many options. Okay. And that caused you to move forward in another direction. So I think you were in the full energy of going in another direction. Even though you felt pure obsession about this person, you really wanted this connection in the past. You thought about this person night and day. You felt tied to their energy. But you wanted a Four of Wands commitment energy. And this is the energy they were bringing to the table with the Knight of Wands. So that's that in and out, fuck boy, fuck girl kind of energy. So you didn't want that kind of energy, so you started to move forward. That's what that's saying, basically. In the current energy, with this person being in the hangman, I want to clarify that. I feel like this is this person's light bulb moment. They, they were in that Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups energy in the past, wanting you to be an option. Wanting you, Even in the current energy, they have that perspective shift of wanting you to be their Ten of Cups, but it's like they still have that vibe of wanting you to compete for them with the Five of Wands between you and the environment. So this person still needs to stay in the hangman mode for a little while. Okay, seven of swords just flipped to clarify the hangman. Eight of pinnacles, the high priestess. See, there's that intuition card. Purple being intuition, there's the intuition card too. So, this person being in the hangman, not moving, they're gaining a new perspective about wanting to be your only option and wanting you to be their only option. They're seeing you like their Ten of Cups happiness, okay? But their intuition is telling them that you see them as a liar because in the past what they do. They treated you as an option with the Seven of Cups. Their intuition is telling you, telling them, I'm sorry, that you see them as a Seven of Swords energy, which is a good reason for it. You have very good reasons for it. But they also want you to, they're not going to tell you this. They're going to tell you they want to work on this connection if they do communicate. They feel that. Whether they communicate it out loud or not, that's what they feel. They feel like they want to work on this. But their intuition is telling them that, they, that you see them as a liar, cheater, stealer kind of energy because of them being in that Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands. But even though they're not going to say it out loud, also, not only did they see you as the one that they want to be with, they still want you to compete for their energy with that five of wands being there. So they got to get out of that childish energy of wanting you to compete because I have a feeling if you're in king of cups energy, that's being too emotionally stable to try to compete like a 12-year-old for somebody's energy. So I'm going to clarify this four of cups in your energy for the upcoming energy. And the damn king of queen of swords just flipped. Page of wands, will of fortune. The star card. See, you're healing from this. You're healing from this. The queen of swords. That's like not putting up with any bullshit. You're def a queen of swords does not compete for somebody's attention. Okay. Page of wands is a new direction. A new beginning and a new direction. And there's some change coming up for you. In the past, you may have took this person up on an offer if they did come forward and seen you as a Ten of Cups. But since they've treated you as an option before, now you've evolved in this King of Cups energy. That's a change. This is a change energy for you. You're becoming the Queen of Swords now in the upcoming energy. This connection brings you a lot of dissatisfaction as far as if someone offered it to you now. You're in the upcoming energy. This is the future, so this is not yet. You could not be in this energy yet, but in the upcoming energy, as you evolve, you're going to be in the energy of being dissatisfied with this. You're going to feel like you deserve better. The Queen of Swords, seeing different, seeing like you need a change. You need something that's not the same as this. This is more like a devil energy type connection, and you see that you deserve better, so that's awesome. So I'm going to get three cards from the universe to close the reading. For the vibrations you could be giving off at this time, slash advice you may need for this reading, just know this person is watching this shit out of you. They're assessing you in any way they can, whether it's on social media, 
asking your friends or family about you, riding by your house, whatever. They're keeping a close watch on you. You've gotten their attention because in the past, they're used to people competing for their attention, knowing they're an option, and being okay with competing. And then we got this Aries person they're dealing with now that said, I'm not going to be an option. I'm not going to compete. And now you've gotten their attention. Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Lover's Card. I feel like this is also saying there could be a connection coming up before, like in the future for you that's intense. Could be a whole different connection. Or it could be saying that this energy is, you could be dealing with a twin flame connection. This whole connection could be a twin flame. And that could be why it's brought up a lot of toxicity to the surface for you and this person to deal with. Because the twin flame connection will do that. Or if it's not a twin flame connection, it's vibrationally just as intense with this card being there. And this could also be saying during Gemini season, because it is Gemini season, just focus on family and friend connections and taking grounded, stable movements forward in whatever you're doing in life in general. Just be grounded. Plan the steps as best as you can and just... Be in a celebratory energy with your family and friends because if you have dealt with a twin flame connection or that's what you're currently dealing with, it's pretty intense and you do have a lot of things that come to the surface. So maybe it's just best to keep connections light. You know what I'm saying? All right, Aries, that's been your reading and thank you so much for watching.